This is the video about resources, HTML5 P code apps, and HTML5 P code videos. An application has a main program and many subprograms. Each subprogram can have many routines. Each routine performs a task for the application. The task usually requires more than one primary action. A primary action is one that requires more than just simple mathematics. So a programmer must understand the relationships between the primary actions in the routine. To learn to program, you must see each action being used in many different routines. Each of the routines should have several other primary actions within it. When you click pause in the red stripe, you will see a listing of hundreds of routines. Each routine is listed alphabetically by its primary actions. Each routine will appear in the list for each of the first three primary actions that it uses. When you click on a routine, it will execute the routine. It will also record the routine so you can paste it in your app. If you click on the space bar, it will show you the routine's instructions. Well, I'm going to go over here and click on pause. Here I see the list of routines, and there are hundreds of them. And you can page through them here with the red and green bar. It explains that in the note. I am going to pick one of the routines. Here I pick the routine. It executed the routine. And if I hit the space bar, I can see the routine's instructions. Here is the listing of the routine's instructions. And because I went to this particular routine, these instructions are now in the area where it can be pasted into the program that is running right now. So I'm going to go up here and end the pause by clicking it again. Then I'm going to go to the program. And I want to go to the end of subprogram 1. I'm going to click it. And I'm going to go all the way down to the end of it. Now I previously had put it in here, so I'm going to take it out where I put it in before. I'm going to delete it. Now i got to go back there again. Down there. Now, if I go over here and say paste save lines below the yellow line, notice I position the yellow line here. I'm going to paste it, and now it put that routine in subprogram one of this program. Now I'm going to take away this home instruction because that was keeping it from doing anything here. So I'm going to go over here, delete that. Now I'm going to say to go ahead and run this. Execute it. There it is. But now it's not running it in pause. It's running it in the program of learn to program. It's fun. Well, it's not supposed to be doing that, is it? But while it is here, you can click on the RT for real time and make changes to it. What you need to learn is how the actions relate to each other. And I can change values now and see what happens to this routine. Like here it shows the X value. What if I made that 100 instead of 200? Well, they move to the left. I'll change it back to 200. And the Y value, that's going to move it up and down. The next one is the R value, which is rotation. Now, if I change the rotation, I suspect it's not going to work. But you see what happens if you didn't have a rotation of 0. I'll change it back to 0. And here's the size. It says it's size 50. What if I made it size 10? Ah, you're not going to get much happening then. I'll change it back to 50. So you can go through here now 
And I notice the color isn't right here, so I'm going to go forward into the program until I find the color. Here's the color. It says the color is 50, which is a medium green. If I made it 55, it would add some blue to it. Ah, now it's blue. I'll change it back to 50. All right. So this is how you learn programming by having routines. And you should have routines that somebody else made. You're not going to learn by routines that you made. If you're going to learn programming, you go to routines, you load them in your program, you change them using real time, or you actually go to the program itself, well, end real time, and go to the program, and you can make your changes here. Now, I particularly want to stop this from running just that one routine, so I'm going to tell it when it goes here, it should go home right away. So I'm going to click up here. I'm going to say home and put that right below the tab where it gets called home. Now I execute it. It won't be doing that anymore. Routines perform the task that the app needs, but the main program controls which routines are executed and the order in which they are executed. The app may require many different sequences of routines. There will be logic used by the main program to tell it which sequence to run. There are many apps listed at the bottom of this page. Each main program has its logic designed for its application. And down here we just see the top of the list. You can scroll down and see all these different apps. Each one has a different main program telling it how to execute the routines it has to do the, do the application. Each routine is just doing a separate task. Routines help your program by isolating where those tasks are being executed. And you can use the trail up here to go find out where that is. There is a YouTube playlist for learning how to build routines. It's called P-Code 101. And there is a YouTube playlist for learning how to design apps, P-Code 102. And right down here it says click here for P-Code 101 and 102, the art of programming. Alright, this is the end of the video about the resources, HTML5P code apps and HTML5P code videos.